Hi guys, welcome back. Scanlink here and we are off for more of South Park Stick Peter of Truth. Really up that bar in the last episode, you know we finished off Canada in a bloody mess. A bloody, smelly, fart, excruciating mess. <laughs> That's the only way I can describe on how to start off the episode. Halfway through the episode, we went and got the fr all, uh, all the animal friends from the, that one Christmas special where they go, Hail Satan! And, well... They became our friends because we accepted them, but we couldn't get them because I was an idiot and couldn't tell from my lefts and rights for that particular moment. Couldn't follow my notes correctly either, so I was an idiot once again. And then I was about to end the video, and then I was almost an idiot by completely forgetting to do the deal with the one Nagasaki block in the sewers. Became friends with the crab people, and got ourselves some sweet crab armor which we're wearing now. Not the helmet, but the bodysuit Hello, armor. New kid. Hello, good sir. And, well, it gives us tons of armor. If you haven't seen the last episode, go check it out, because I was an idiot. But look at our armor now. Look at our armor. It's pretty much doubled. It's pretty much doubled. And considering how the beginning of the last episode went, I need this armor. Because <laughs> we got, like, armor right after that battle, and then I got armor now. And it's like, this is just purely armor. If I don't give it a patch, it's got nothing else going for it. So, yeah. So, we've got our notes translated for the girls. They said they will definitely join us once we sort this thing out. And after going over a freaking pilgrimage across Canada, which apparently only took in the span of a day, maybe a couple of hours somehow, because it ain't even night time yet, we are now able to recruit the girls and then enter the final dungeon of the game. The final night of the game. So let's do this. Ready to go back? Actually, I want to check something. Because... I'm not, like I said, this isn't a 100% walkthrough, it's not a playthrough, trying to get 100% as close as possible, because obviously the achievements require you to play the game multiple times, but, um, we got a new perk in the, in the last episode, so I want to go equip that first, so let's see what we got, I was going to do it at the end of the last episode, but I didn't actually, see, I, I failed again, I couldn't remember, so, just trying to have a look here. The first attack, each combat deals extra damage, which would be really helpful. But this is my last perk. I've got to make it count. Debuff supply to your last one turn less than normal. Inflict more damage to stun targets. I guess that would be helpful if I use my ground stomp. Really, weapon attacks do extra damage. That would be great. Because we've already got my range attacks do extra damage. But then again, my... Because, look, if my first combat attack does extra damage, I could just have it for the rest of the battle, really. So that seems useless. Uh, let's see. Fire of War, inflict additional damage, not just giving it gross out. I might actually have, to, I might actually go for that, really, because it'll give me more uh, reason to do the power attacks. But I don't think I'll use them. I'll do that. So that's our final perk. That was the wrong button, again. Get all of our friends out of the way that we got in the last episode, so you can see them all now. Oh my god. 93. 93 friends. I think there's about two, uh, 120, but I'm not get I haven't got them all. So, Chickadee is invited you to a blood blood orgy like Sunday. Got another hunting trip coming up in a three weeks and you're welcome to come along. Ask your folks, it'll be fun. Live grenades. Okay. <laughs> Having moments of doubt if Satan exists, why does he let good things happen to good people? Uh, because they're good people. <laughs> now cheer up, y'all. If you didn't give them hope, how could you ever crush their dream dreams? Wow. Wow. That's dark. But yeah, um, I just need to check my quests here quickly. Um, is it my quests or is it my inventory? I think it's my inventory I'm after. How do I check my chimp Pokemon? Oh, it's collectibles, of course. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Yeah, because that's our friends. Chimp Pokemon. We got 28 out of 30! I feel like I want to go out of my way to find them now. I should have looked at this at the end of the last episode. Hopefully I haven't missed anything permanent. Because they're quite early on ones. We can already see the two that we're missing. Equipment. We're never going to get all the equipment at this rate. We've got to buy it all. And obviously those are quest items that we need. Which is the clinic records which we've got translated. So, um, I'm going to cut. <laughs> And see where, what we're missing here. See what we're missing, alright? 
sorry, I, don't, I wouldn't normally do this, and like I said, we're not going for 100%, but if I'm this close to getting all the Chin Pokemon, I might as well finish. So, I know, I, apolog I keep apologising, I'm doing that quite often, but I'm going to have a look, so I'm going to cut. Okay, I'm back. Guess what? I have actually got all the Chin Pokemon up to this point in the game without realising. I thought I missed a couple, but apparently that is permanently missable, but we haven't reached the part of the game yet. And this is not permanently missable, but once again, we can't get it yet. Well, not right now, but once we get past one cutscene, we will be able to. So, after all that checking, I can actually do this without... Well, well, well maybe with a couple of bits, I'm not going to get all the friend requests. But, I must be sleeping on it, funny. the Chimpog one was, amazing, was a massive thing because I got them all up to this point without missing a single one of them. With, uh, just by searching like a freaking nutcase and I was able to get them all up to this point so I'm gonna finish off the chimp Pokemon nothing else <laughs> other than the game of course so ready to go back? yes I'm ready to go back now the girls are ready to see you take me away because this ain't a 100% walkthrough it's not a playthrough it's just a let's play but I'm this close to getting all the chimp Pokemon I'm gonna do it so I keep repeating myself now God damn it See, right here it says that five women were at the clinic that day. And right there it says Nancy Turner, 3.30 p.m. That's Heidi's mom! So Heidi Turner was the two-faced bitch! <laughs> the evidence is irrefutable. Thanks, new kid. We now know it was Heidi Turner all along who was spreading the rumors. Freaking whore! Two-faced butt rag! Fuck Heidi Turner and her fucking two-faced ass! But Heidi's well. really sorry, <laughs> so we're deciding to forgive her. Really? I love you guys so much. We love you too, Heidi! Yeah! Oh, sorry! Heidi. Heidi. Well, new kid. What? So you have our services. Tell the boys we will play their game. Sparkle! Sunshine! So we had to literally go absolutely everywhere and you just forgive her on the spot and she's like, oh yeah, yeah, no one got hurt through this. Freaking hell, man. I'm mostly scarred for life seeing freaking abortions attack people from the dead. And they, they, uh, they have the gall just to say, oh yeah, she's already sorry. We're discussing this right now, but she's already said that we're sorry. So they obviously knew originally. God bloody hell! But we get we got the um, clothing music going on right now. So let's I talk to you. Trail can actually make your friendship stronger, and it's all thanks to you. Screw you! You shouldn't hit a woman, but you have sent me on a freaking death suicide mission, not a death job. Well, I guess it's a death job. You're really different from the other boys. Like you aren't even gross. Thank you. You're totally hot. Oh, nice. I'm getting good compliments here. You're totally uh, caught. I was trying to talk to... What's her face? You're totally I'm caught. not trying to talk to you. I can't talk to her, can I? Uh, no, oh god, don't do that in here. Don't do that in here. I wanted to see if I could hit someone. Can I talk to you? Can I talk? I'm going to talk to everybody. Thank you so much for clearing my name. Now when girls call me a whore, it's more in a joking way. Really? Heidi's having a slumber party. Oops. I almost forgot you're not a girl. Can I come anywhere? Wait, wait, no, no, no. And there's our 29th Chim Pokemon. The final one is, well, I guess I'll be able to spoil it now. It's actually in the final dungeon. Yep, the final one is in the final dungeon, and it's at the very end of the final dungeon as well. So we've got to make sure we don't miss it. I bet you're thinking about something totally deep right now. In what way? <laughs> Valkyrie headband. Let's have a look here. That's 80 armor. My god, we're just getting all the good stuff. Aren't we? Every time I get good equipment, I just get even better ones literally five minutes after. Why? 10 PP when you kill an opponent. That is OP as hell. We also get the Valkyrie armor, but uh, 130 armor. 100 HP when you kill an enemy, once again. But it's got a bra on it, and I'm not a girl. I mean, I guess if I was a girl and I was playing this game, I may equip that, but just for GP, I'm not going to equip that. I mean, it's a 15% ex it's a 15 extra da- ex ex Let me try again. It's 15 extra defense of what I'm already wearing, and what I've got going right now is amazing, so yeah. The Valkyrie gloves I might wear, though, because they give me 50% ar- they give me 50 more armor, and an attack up once again, so we're going back to that old tradition. You didn't I just hear from me, but Millie said that Bebe said that Ali said that Monica knows someone who has a crush on you. Nice. But that's probably the same woman who keeps saying that my friend has a crush on you. So, whatever. And we can actually buy some stuff here as well. As an honorary girl, you have been granted full access to our adorable supplies. Wanna do a little shopping? Have you got any good stuff that I can actually whack 
people with. The Needring Doe Hammer. It's always been equipment that eats up most of these videos, but that's a thing. The deadliest weapon known to cartoon cats and mice. Perfect attack, reduces shields by five, but it's not exactly the powerless thing. Four hit combo, by the way. Enemy... Uh, wait, enchant... Wait, glittery but abrasive. Uh, enchanted attacks from this weapon bypass enemy... What? Attacks from this weapon bypass enemy defense. The katana smashes through 200 defense. And with the patch, it ignores 200. But this thing just outright nullifies enemy defense. That is broken. And I've got the money for it. I'm buying it. I'm buying it. <laughs> oh my god. Um... Bit like Cupid's bow, except instead of falling in love, the target ha has an arrow stuck in their face. Five hit combo, adds 20% damage on perfect attack, hits for X damage, and obviously, uh, well, it fires five projectiles if you get a perfect, that crit if you get a perfect hit. But it's weaker than what we have. But the chakra arm, original owner had three extras. Won't miss this one, <laughs> of course. Um, bounces on six targets as long as three remain, and obviously jagged, so it does bleeding, but it's quite, well, it's actually better than what we have equipped already. I'll buy that as well. And now I'm pretty much skint once again. Equipment. Adds five armor. Uh, I'm not going to read all of them. Ooh. Ooh. Provides extra safe guiding for those who know the magical word of safety. Adds 50 armor. PP on a go... Go target? Don't know what that is. Except it's puke when they approach it. I've noticed that the music's just stopped. <laughs> it's just died. Max HP by 100... By 700, wow, if you really want, if you want extra HP, buy that. But yeah, I don't think any of this equipment actually interests me, to be honest. Yeah. Don't need any of that. Prenuptial document. Each attack leeches 100 HP from your target. I'll buy that, I'm skinned, <laughs> I don't care. We don't need money for anything else, because this is like our final shop. So let's go back to our equipment, our information back here again. Got all these friends that are probably not going to do anything on a nice deep 99. Got Chakram. I think I might just go back to my original item though, to be honest. But then again. Yeah, because the discus are bleeding. I can't seem to get the timing down. I mean, I haven't used it often, but at the same time. I think I'll just go back to my crossbow of impalement. Where is it? Where is my crossbow of impalement? Ah. Uh, crossbow of impalement! There you are. Okay. Let's go back to this, because we were we were doing really well with this. And, uh, yeah, we'll keep, we'll put the bleeding back on it, because why not? In case if I don't want to use a uh, Rochambeau, or if there's way too many enemies in the area. But then again, I should have the leech. Yeah, I think, I think I'll have the leech, actually. I, I really need that HP leech that we just got. Wait. Train up, yeah, that's it. That's the one we just got. So let's have that. Yeah, that's awesome! Okay. Uh, let's have a look at that, um... Fairy sword. It's the sword of fairy tale. Um, that's the warrior's long sword. Where is it? I can't find the damn thing. Oh, it's there. Fairy, fairy princess blade. Glitty but abrasive. That is so good. Let's have a look at it. Oh, what? It, is it really the fairy tale sword? That Urza wields in fairy tale? I wouldn't put that. I wouldn't normally say that, but obviously, throughout like, this year so far, I've been watching Fairy Tale, and I'm already on the latest episode. And it's got two patches as well, so we can work with that. Oh, do I really want to get rid of my katana? I guess for the final battle, I might switch back to my katana, but for now, I really because look, we ignore up to 200 armor as well as destroy on per to 200 armor on perfect attack. But this one ignores armor completely, so it's probably more better. It's probably more better. So we're gonna take that patch off here. And see what we can do with this uh, fairy. I know we're still equipping, but this is just so good. Um, ignore, yeah, we don't need armor ignoring. We don't need armor ignoring. So we could have 200. There we are. That's 250 damage to weapon attack. So we'll give it the boost it needs. And I guess we could go with. Let's see here. I think we'll give. I think, I think I'll go back to. Gross out, maybe? Or we could use the, uh, wait, is it this one? I uh, have the 100 frost damage on perfect attack, because we haven't used frost before. I guess we could go for that. Lowers enemy attack on perfect strike. That would be nice. 
I might actually go with that. I might actually go with that. Yeah, you know what? Let's change it up a bit. Let's go with a lowest enemy attack on perf perfect strike. That's really cool. And now it's... I believe that power is more powerful than our um, Sweet Katana now, actually. Where is our Sweet Katana? It was originally at the bottom. Now it's been moved again. See, this is why I hate. It just changes your equipment against your will. Where is my Sweet Katana gone? It's level 14 weapon. There it is. It's still more powerful at 262 times 3. But it, it ignores armor and it hits three times. Uh, you, you know what? We'll try it. We'll try it. We'll go with this. I'll give it a whack. If not, oh well. We'll switch back. But I want to give this weapon a chance because it just looks awesome. And I still not understand what this means. But I have noticed that when that dude shows up, his blue thing becomes the, the sky part of the texture map for the map. So it's weird. Have I really already wasted two, 20 minutes? But yeah, notice that we've actually came out of this locker now. So that was... Um, the toilet even that is where their meetings take place as i've already said anyway all we've been doing is talking about equipment and everything we've spent like 10 minutes in the menus already we've already wasted five minutes on the bloody intro looking at a chimp pokemon but it's a thing it happens i apologize but it's all progress because we're upgrading which is excellent for progression and i don't know where i'm going right now i need to go back to the elf kingdom that's cooper keep so we've already bypassed it because i'm a scrub because i'm talking but, you know what? We're done in South Park. Let's actually just get on with the final dungeon of the game. Hopefully we can get into a massive battle, so at least this um, episode has some substance. And I just bypassed the exact same house again already. Haven't I? I feel like I have. Is this the correct house? This should be the correct house. Is it the correct house? I think it's the correct house. Can I say that any more times? I should have just fast travel timid. Fast travel timid. Like, that's a thing. But yeah, we haven't used Cartman much, but he's been putting in the work. They I mean, painted the kitchen this color because Kyle family really likes gold for some reason. Well, ain't that great. But that just means I'm in the right house. So, let's just go in here and talk to Kyle. Everyone listen up! The girls have agreed to fight by our side! Huzzah! Huzzah! The pirates and the Federation factions are standing by to fight as well, my lord. Then the time for talk is over. Let us all make haste to Clytus! And the final night begins. I forgot to mention, if you wanted to do anything else in South Park up to that point, you should not go back and talk to Clyde. <laughs> but, of course, we're doing it. We're finishing this. I might just finish this game today or tomorrow. We're so close. I mean, I've got my mates coming tomorrow. I've got Kazuwa Kasaki coming tomorrow for some smash. So, yay. Don't know if I'll record it anymore. Oh my god. Today, we are not elves and humans. Today... We fight as one! What we do here now will be written and sung about on YouTube for days to come! Damn straight. <laughs> Let us besiege the army of darkness with the courage of dragons! Let us delve their dungeon with swords and sorcery! Let us charge our shields and use photon torpedoes to vaporize the Klingons! Kevin, god damn it. Every <laughs> fucking time, Kevin. God fucking damn it, seriously. Don't lay on him. I'm sorry. Armies of Justice! Prepare! Ready! And... Let's beat let's up, beat up Clyde. Yes! March me, army! Let's go! Let's do this! I'm leading the pack! I'm leading the pack! Storm the house! They're not going to shut the door on us. We'll just go around the back if that's the case. Dad, Smash down the back door. You, Ow! I'm hit! They... They tore my costume! I worked really hard on it! You sons of bitches are going to get what's coming! Oh, when you ruin someone's favorite armor, they get pissed. Anyway, come on. Is there anything you can do? A new asshole. Come Only on. a paladin Let's can help you here. Let's tear these jerks a new asshole. So what we're gonna have to do is switch our team member in order to get a buzz the MVP paladin. Remember Nagasaki. So let's go switch over to our MVP here. Your no. word is that we wears with the witches. Sorry, I interrupted your freaking uh, command there for a second. So, buddy, command. Let's do this. Uh, why ain't it not working? Do no. <laughs> why ain't it not working? There we go. There you go. Uh, thanks. Here, I got this for you. A superhero patch. Yep, that was completely optional. But once again, let's go back into the menu and see what that does. Because we're just getting all the patches. It's not one of those patches. God damn it! It's an armor patch. No, get out of it. No, that was too far. Get back in the menu. That was the wrong button. At least I know that down is party. After all this freaking time. Good lord. Okay. Uh, 
triangle, the square even, there we go, where is it? That is the 100 leech, and that is the... Oh, it only does 20% more damage, okay, so that was actually not the best. But we need to Nagasaki that golem up there, so let's... Oh, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it! That was gone. So now I've got to rotate a bit more to get into that one. Done too far, there we go, got it! Get it, there we go. Bloody hell, everyone just talked at once there. Alright. You take the tower from the inside. Me and the pirates are going to scale it from the outside. Right, that water is electrified. Hopefully I can uh, get some of those guys over with a uh, sneaky squeaker. Uh, I need sneaky squeaker. That's it. Alright, let's uh, move this over here. We're going to you. Yes! Wreck him! Wreck him! All the useless experience in this part of the game! Even if I didn't do any um, grinding. Uh, whoa, 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 why was I walking automatically there? That was weird. Smash that out of the way. There's a chest over here. Let's get it. Near dispenser here! <laughs> I kind of said it like that. Uh, so we've got that emptied out. We need to change our thing here. That. I need to change back to Cartman in a minute. Whoa, that looked weird. Kind of a laggy. Bloody hell, what's with that effect? Not normally like that, is it? Yeah, it didn't do it that time. Can we go up here? Yes, we can. Oh, there we go. Uh, that would have knocked him out. But whatever. We've already turned off the generator, and I guess we could have knocked him out with that, but I didn't decide to for reasons. And I believe we've actually got something once we go in, so... No, I didn't mean to do that. I'm just trying to hurry up here. There we go. So, yeah, like I said, we don't actually have um, the last two pole one and two, like, the top of this tower. So, we're fine on that front. I forgot to press down for party. Oh well. Let's get uh, Cartman back in because it's the final dungeon. We've got to have Cartman in because he gave us the work. When we went through the forest and halfway through Canada, we used Kyle. So, we're using every party member for their own purpose at, in this game, which I kind of like. We already had 25 minutes, but then again, I got off cut out five minutes as well. I've got a bit of a motor mouth today. Let's just keep going. I'm pretty much certain I'm going to be able to finish this game today. Just want a massive recording spree trying to finish this. I've been enjoying this game way too much. <laughs> I might have a best moments video. I don't know. I've been thinking about it, but no yeah. Yeah, I think you need a, a check here. <laughs> Six. Gain attack up after the, uh, at the start of combat. Have we already got that? I want to twice yeah, the I same. Yeah, I think you need a, a check here. Blow you up. This is gonna be awesome. We see the weakness in your heart. Yeah, so I need a check here. Burn, baby, burn. Burn. So yeah, I keep ch changing the Cartman, but I'm not actually able to use him yet. This time we've got to use Kenny. Of course this place will do everything in order to try and get us forward, but apparently Stan's gone missing, so we'll probably meet up with him later. So now, as Cartman said, we need a chick here. The only chick we got is, well, if you can call it that, uh, Kenny. So let's just do this. Nice. Forgive me, master. <laughs> you are muppets. Well, now I'm gonna. Well, they're not actually firing their rockets anymore. I I press down. I swear I press down. Let's go back to Cartman. I want to stick with Cartman, but the game's forcing me to change. That was bad. That was bad. Uh, what this I need to do? Awesome. Uh, incoming. Can I not? Shit, I can't do that. Right. Loot. 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 Okay, they can't hit me when they can't loot me while I'm doing this. Okay. Yeah, you can't hit me when I'm in this. Ah, I went out of the menu at the wrong time. All the explosions. They actually look kind of similar to what I use for my um Nuzlocke. Incoming! Reduce enemy armor by hundred on perfect attack. But I've got reduced armor when you just do it normally, so I don't see what's the Oh no wait, no, that's part of the weapon. Okay, whatever. Uh, Okay, what did that do? Oh, I can go down there! Hang on! I can go down there! That's what it did. No dust. So what's down here? Oh my god! Oh my god, did I have to actually do that? I think I might have missed something. Was I supposed to do that? Or is this a bonus? Ow! Fuck me, that hurts! Ow! I feel like we actually gotta go down there, so let's not go down there just yet. Hopefully those other enemies don't respawn. Yeah, we're doing these in like 30 minute increments here. Doesn't matter. It's not like, I mean, I've already taken about two days not uploading this because I haven't had the chance to. Oh, the enemies have stopped shooting up there. Okay, strange. 
but I want to get up. I feel like I have to get up here now because we need to get that chimp one and maybe you get it up here No wait Wait, which way do I go then because they're climbing up here now because that, that seems like the correct way to go Which way is it? We are the Dark Lord's mighty Cyclops I don't know. I don't I don't know which one I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go under here yep. Hopefully I don't go too far because I know we have to get to the top but is this secret area or something? Because it seems like that is a thing. So I feel like I should go down here first. Oh, that dude was already dead, so whatever. And I need Paladin Butters again. Ugh. I should just stick with Butters for now. Now, fuck, I'm bleeding! I'm bleeding out! Hey, fuck you! Don't worry, guy, I'll heal you once I take out this rat. Kind of required battle, I think, so... Fellas, we can work this out. Let's try the Fairy Princess Blade. That is decent damage, considering. Not as much as the, um... Not as much as the, um... Sweet Katana, but still pretty good. So, I think I'll just rock out with this weapon for now. I'll probably switch back to the uh, Sweet Katana before we finish off the Let's Play. Because we're not finished with Katana. Come on. It's a sweet katana. It's just that we haven't used anything since the sweet katana. So since we fought Al Gore. So let's just take out these guys quickly with MVP here. Holy damage doing massive damage as well to add to the already massive damage. Didn't block that properly, but it doesn't matter. Even if he heals, he's dead on this turn. But I'll just give him one of these. Then hammer time. Hogwarts! I know damage doesn't solve anything, but I kind of like it. And it's what we're going to have to do in order to get the Stick of Truth back. Loot him. Do do. Ah, oh, I can go up here. If I can get out of the way. I, I feel like I want to heal this guy first. Wow. There's so many branching pathways. I don't know if I'm going to miss Your anything. Your command, my lord. Why, that'd just be silly. What? Dude. Why, that'd just be silly. You want me to heal him and you won't heal him. Thank there you. you go, Al. Why would that be silly? Stay back. That's from our brothers, you fairy fuck. <laughs> Alright then. And there's a pa pouch here. Gnome teeth. Diary cancel patch. <gasps> 5 PP each uh, e e every turn. That's an upgrade right there. So let's go equip that right now. Let's go back to my armor. And let's swap that out for the better one. Which is right here. 5 PPH turn, all the power. Must be something down here. What is this? Can I even smash this thing? Can I pop it? Why not? This hasn't got any green glowing lights, so I don't think I'll be able to... Um... Nagasaki it. So what's out here? Oh, it was a secret entrance! I didn't know that! But then again, if I came in here anyway... I wouldn't have been able to... Yeah, I wouldn't have been able to do anything about it. Let me guess, I could have killed this rat with, uh, with this. And then, uh, no. Sounds like you're on the market. Yeah, yeah, right. So, <laughs> yeah, I would have just been able to do that to kill that rat instead. But you had to kill that rat in the first place in order to get down there. So I don't understand what that's all about. But if I go up here, do I, like, bypass a whole section? I don't know. There's so many branching paths. I don't remember any of this. From um, Lukagen's LP. Oh! It just allows me to get up here without. Um... Okay, I've, that seems really. So I could have just avoided the whole bottom of this room in the first place. So it's just giving us options, really. That's all it is. So let's clear out this room and then I'll think we'll end it off. Because at least then we've made decent enough progress. I need to be normal size, so I'm just getting it wrecked. We are the huh? Dark Lord's mighty Cyclops! Have a spell! Me! Sneef! Gotcha! Take my cup of spell in your face! Bloody hell, the music just Fellas, went down. Alright, so that dude is stunned, but that dude's got four armor, which is not the best. But we should smash right through armor, if I remember correctly. Yes, we do! Yes, we do! Oh my god, that's what it means! That is so broken. That is better than the katana in all respects. I thought it just meant armor, but it also smashes through invulnerable hits. Because normally you would have to hit the dude four times before you can even get to his HP. 
Not only do we bypass Darling all his defense, we also bypass that stuff that stops him from losing HP altogether. So his invulnerability hits also go down. The fairy, the the world, fairy blade is better than the katana. The katana is just a stopgap measure. Just to help you get through a little bit quicker if you're at a higher level. Holy crap. That is so good. So you know what? Batters can just focus on that dude up there. Let's just give him a... By the hammer of butters. Indeed. Whammo! That was the most perfect throw I've ever seen. I totally agree. Me Jeez, he's doing stands attack. Hopefully that doesn't mean anything. Okay, let's just wreck this dude with another combo. There we go. I feel like I still need to do combos on that dude because otherwise I won't do enough damage. Because it's defense, you know, so I just expect to use a combo. Hey, I just expect that I have to use a combo because otherwise it won't work. So. I really feel sad for if I can use power attacks, then whatever, but I probably won't yeah. find that out even in the comment section because I'm just probably going to finish this Let's Play right today. We're so close. That dude had Night Gauntlets. I didn't check that, so let's check that before we end the video off. I've been on such a friggin' motor mouth today. Night Gauntlets. 50 armor. It's slightly more. 20% damage with one-handed weapons, which is what we're using at the moment. The katana's a two-handed weapon, so that would give us even more of a boost than what we already have. So you know what? I'm going to equip it. Plus, it's more defense. So we're just upgrading so freaking often today. It's unbelievable. In fact, well, yeah, it's up today in general, because I'm recording all these at once. So let's get that. No, that's the 3 PP. I need the 5 PP. Wait, wait. No, it's not the five. It's not, what, what am I after? Re rebirth. That's it. Not re raise. That's the Final Fantasy version. I want to change the color of them. I want to change it to a nice black. Black's up here. There we go. Hell yes. And in the next episode, guys, uh, I'm guessing I could just have a spell. This. Yep. Once again, I'm an idiot. In the next episode, guys, we will continue in this cower of, in cower of, bleh, tower of death. Keep slowing my speech. And I just realized I can go into that barrel. Hang on a second. Pfft. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. What's this about? What is this about? I don't, I don't know what this is about. Um. Yeah, what is this about? <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I don't know what that was about. Anyway, <laughs> sorry about that. I thought I missed something. Yeah, I guess it was in order to hit them and stun them a lot easier. But yeah, in the next episode, guys, we will continue climbing up this Tower of Death and hopefully reclaim the Sick of Truth. I don't know if next episode will be the final episode. Probably not. I believe I remember something else happening, but I can't entirely remember. Why is this not working? Thank you. So, in the next episode, we'll continue climbing up this Tower of Death and I'll see you guys next time. Hope you enjoy. Sorry for being a complete motor mouth in this episode. And tons of menus and equipping and such. See you guys then.